Ata, Mokut, Fijibura, Fijidula, Le Olam. Amen. Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Hail Mary, Mother of God, the Savior of grace, pray to Jesus for me. Jesus Christ, I beg you, forgive me of my sins, as I am not worthy to lead into your kingdom, but I am worthy in your eyes, according to your word, to pray to thee, to ask forgiveness, and to lead the world in your love. Hagia Sophia, the Holy Wisdom, the Shekinah of the Presence. You are the Holy Spirit, as you are the breath of life, the divine on the winds of the Most Holy. Therefore, you are the divine feminine. I pray to thee that you will lead me by God's wisdom to make these videos and to be being an ordained minister of the Universal Life Church Monastery as I am. Help me to lead the young people in God's love and grace by wisdom, by knowledge, and by understanding. In Jesus Christ's holy and sweet name, amen. Sabe, shalom, and brightest blessings. My name is Archimus, and welcome to Christian Week in Haven. I'm sorry, I had to pray a little there, but anyways. Today's video is going to be about the uh, One God concept, um, how that came to be and what it actually means. Because um, a lot of pagans are getting confused at why we Christians believe there's only one God. And I know that a lot of Christians will explain it very differently than I will, because everyone has their own interpretation, but this one's mine. Now, uh, taking from the Bible, I will read to you Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, over, and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Um, science has proven that we all start off female. And if testosterone is present, that's when the female becomes a male. Um, so if we all start off female, and we're all created in the image of God. That means there has to be a feminine aspect of the divine. A feminine aspect of God. God the mother. The Gnostics believed that God was both male and female. Because God was simply slang for the creator. The one creative consciousness that sprang everything in existence. Everything came from this one creator. So I'm just going to call this creator Jehovah for now. Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah. Um, for the Jews, it was Yahweh. For Christians, it's Jehovah. For uh, Muslims, it's Yahweh. I mean, excuse me, Allah. Sorry, don't become offended. But anyways. So, from this one God, both male and female, sprang the Lord and the Lady, which is in Wicca. Wicca believes the Lord and the Lady as the masculine and feminine polarity of the divine. Still the same force, but male and female aspects of it. From the Lord and Lady, we have the Holy Trinity. Uh, El of the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and Aegis Sophia, the Holy Spirit. Still masculine and feminine aspects of a one God. Because in Christianity, God is not the Son the Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Father, but the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all God. One God with three faces. Really, it's no different than one goddess with three faces. The maiden, the mother, and the crone. See, it's the same concept. Um, and there's more trinities throughout the world. For example, Shiva, Vishnu, Brahma. Brahma the creator, Shiva the destroyer, Visnu the Preserver. They're a trinity. 
Um, then, well, there, this isn't really a trinity, but it's a triad. Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. Three forces working together to, uh, you know, watch over the natural world. But anyway, back to what I was saying. From the trinity, we have all of these other archetypes. Um, but like what I said a while ago, natural forces, anthropomorphized structures. Um, basically, these are, these are what the uh, Hindus refer to as uh, devas. D-E-V-A-S, Sanskrit for nature spirit. Um, I believe that the other archetypes of God are merely just anthropomorphic structures of subtle natural energies. This is how I call upon these archetypes to bring these energies into my circle. And uh, so I can give these energies purpose and direction. Um, then from these uh, devas, we have our ancestors who first discovered them. You know, that would be like your great-great-great-great-great-grandmother and grandfather. You know, the ones who first discovered these ar uh, these archetypes, then discovered God and worshipped God. And then from our ancestors sprang us, humans. We are God's greatest creation. So, originally, we came from God. Okay, so let's review. One God split, one God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, split into the Lord and the Lady, the masculine and feminine aspects of one God. Masculine and feminine split into the Trinity, the Mother, the Father, and the Holy Son, or the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as uh, the Holy Spirit is the Mother God aspect. From the Trinity, we have all other archetypes of God, names and faces. Uh, there's the Christian Trinity, then there's the Wiccan Trinity of Maiden, Mother, and Crone, three faces of the Goddess. So the Trinity is three faces of the God, the Triple Goddess is three faces of the Goddess. Then from this, we have um, the Devas, the Nature Spirits. These are what I call the other archetypes of God. And then from the, the Devas, we have our ancestors. Then from ancestors are us. This is just how, how I view it. You may do it a completely different way. Um, I know other Christians will have a completely different explanation from this, but this is just my view. And since spirituality is a very personal thing, then my view is just as valid as any other. So, uh, with that being said, until next time, hail nature and healing powers for all. Jesus saves and blessed be. Namaste.